welcome back to the channel on this video I'm riding around on the Lyric Graffiti and there's some significance to this video and that is I'm about to hit 1,000 miles on the bike so I thought I'd ride around and also I'm going to talk a little bit about the bike and how my thousand miles have gone and what I've thought of the bike so far and I'm just gonna stop and talk a bit about it and then finish off the miles on the bike to get it to 1000 let's pull it in here and I'm going to I'll take this spot right here turn that off for a moment I want to talk a little bit about the bike <clears throat> so there's a look at the Lyra Graffiti it's just a little bit from getting to a, a thousand miles and I thought I'd talk a little bit about how it's gone so far the first 1,000 miles of the bike so Basically, I can tell you I've had no trouble with the bike. The only thing that happened and It wasn't the bike's fault. It's the battery with the fuse issue, but that was resolved With a different fuse in the battery, but other than that um, The only other thing I've had an issue with is I had one flat tire and that was on the rear tire and that was from running over a roofing nail and that was in one of the bike lanes and they're notorious for having uh, debris in them unfortunately but um otherwise the bike has been uh, uh, fantastic uh the brakes are good i mean i haven't had to use the brakes uh, a whole lot because i use the regen brake but when i've had to use um the brakes for quick stop because the regen braking will not stop you real quick it's a more gradual stop so there are occasions when you may need your your uh, uh, regular brakes but uh, yeah that's been good um, I mean the bike is very reliable it's uh, dependent dependable I've uh, ridden it to and from work um, basically every day and what can I say I'm still on the same tires the big boat CST big boat tires and um, I have not replaced them yet and that's 1,000 miles in I I don't know how far I'm gonna get on this uh, set of tires but I did have one other thing that I, I did do and that is the belt as you can see it's a belt instead of chain here i had the belt uh, really loose after uh riding it for a short time it it would fall off i had it fall off a few times so i had to pull the back wheel back some and uh that corrected it and i haven't had a problem since it's good it's never come off anymore so um that's about it otherwise a dependable bike it, it's smooth riding I love the regen braking you know if you want to ride 30 miles an hour consistently you can do that it will go over 30 miles an hour the headlight is awesome um, it gets me where I want to go whether it's day or night you can ride it without any issues I haven't done anything to the bike as far as 
modifying it in any way this is the original bike as I bought it I have not done anything to it at all other than the fuse uh, situation with the battery that's it otherwise it's been great so let's get back on and ride a little more and get it to a thousand and I'll talk a little more as we go the bike doesn't have a rear suspension and some people um, have mentioned about that that's why the new Lyra graffiti the graffiti X is going to have a full suspension people were saying hey, you know we need that uh, rear suspension which is true I mean it it makes a difference but you know for my riding which is pretty much mostly on roads I've done some off-roading but for the most part 95% of my riding probably has been on the road and with the big fat tires and riding on pavement i don't really have a problem with no rear suspension the tires being fat help um, in absorbing uh, any kind of bumps or situations that you're going to have so i um i find the bike perfectly fine but you know what if they're going to put a full suspension on a future bike then I'd say yeah I wouldn't mind that I mean it's going to be there but it's not the be all and end all for me um, but if I'm riding off-road most definitely you if you're doing any off-roading at all then yeah you want to have a full suspension it makes a big difference for sure 100 percent but the bike has been awesome and I've said this many times and I'm gonna say it again it's been an absolute joy to ride um, right from day one if you look back on a look way back on my videos uh, I can leave a link in the description for the first ride impressions and that was my very first ride on the bike and right away I could tell that uh, I'm gonna like this bike um, and uh, I like the um, I like the way it handles, I like the feel of it. It's not overly heavy, it's very nimble that way. And I don't know why I just came down here to a dead end, but I did. Um, so I have no uh, problems at all with uh, this bike. Lyric Cycles did well, in my opinion and thumbs up for that and they do have the uh, lyric graffiti 2023 version it's going to be a little bit different than this it's a it's a geared hub motor as opposed to gear less and the batteries this is a dual battery two 17.5 amp hour batteries on the new bike you're going to get two 20 amp batteries which i think is a is a nice upgrade and that'll get you 40 amp hour if you buy the dual setup which i would recommend because then you won't have any anxiety over uh, um, running out of battery uh, 40 amp hour that's quite a fair bit if you get that if you get the dual i mean it'd be okay with just one i suppose depending on how much riding you're going to do but if you are going to do any extended riding at all i would recommend getting the dual uh, battery and plus the dual the second battery is only an additional four hundred dollars so i think that's a really good price for uh, an additional 20 amp hour if you do want to uh, purchase a lyric graffiti i do have a link in the in my uh, descriptions that'll get you over to the site affiliation link i have and you can save yourself 150 dollars on the bike just use the uh, the code oregon e-biker mark the discount code it's all one word and that applies to any of the bikes on their site their uh, cycles still don't have any um, 
any information or anything to add uh, with regards to when the Graffiti X is coming out, so I don't know. I have not spoken to Lyric Cycles in a while, and so uh, hopefully all is going well with that bike, and in the not too distant future, we'll start seeing them uh, around. The other one is also the Ghost and the Voodoo. I don't know where they're at with those bikes, but hopefully in the not too distant future, uh, we'll be seeing those bikes out as well. So we'll just keep our eyes uh, and ears open. And if I get any, any information as to uh, when we can see those models, I will definitely let you guys know. But right now we're in a wait and see mode. They're coming, I just, I'm not exactly sure when. It's a cool day out here today, definitely feeling it. We're only in the 40s, but I'm uh, bundled up pretty good. I got my toque on, I got my motorcycle Kemimoto gloves on, and I got my jacket on, so uh, I'm good to go. As we whip up this hill. If you want to make a comment on this or any other video, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Maybe uh, you can let us know how many miles you've got on your bike. Is 1,000 like nothing for you? I mean, I think it's a significant amount because uh, I, I'm wanting to see a few things on this bike and how how they uh, how they are as we go along. Like, for example, the batteries, how we're doing with batteries, and how we're doing also with the tires. So um, I'm, I'm keeping tabs on how long the tires will last. Now Lyric has told me themselves that they say that you can get up close to 2,000 miles maybe on them, but they don't recommend going quite that far, maybe a little less. So I'm thinking probably if I get 1,500 or, or a little more, I'm thinking that's probably what, uh, I'll just keep my eye on the tires. I know the back tire is going to be the one to go first. But probably change them both up at the same time we'll see but uh 2,000 uh, miles would be nice you can get to 2,000 on on the uh, tires that would be to me that would be pretty good because let's say you ride 1,500 or 2,000 miles a year you don't want to be swapping out multiple times a year I don't think your tires I think you shouldn't have to change out your tires more than once a year that's my uh, what I think and if you're having to swap them out uh, multiple times then I think you're not going to want to spend a lot of money on tires because you're going to have to be doing it so often but it might pay to get better tires that last longer because nobody wants to be constantly swapping tires The other thing I want to mention too I like about this bike is it has the BMX handlebars. Big fan of those. I used to think the um, handlebars on the um, Grizzly were fine on the Aerial Rider Grizzly but after riding this one now I'm thinking you know those handlebars 
uh, although I haven't swapped them out, I wonder if they'd be better, that bike would be better with a pair of BMX handlebars. Because you're, you are putting your hands up there a little bit high, higher on that bike. And we're up, getting really close here to a thousand miles, about three tenths of a mile to go. This bike is very smooth around turns and stuff like that too. turn here all right I'm gonna stop right here because I want to show you that we have reached there it is officially 1,000 miles that's pretty cool and that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time. <laughs>